Hello, friends. Today again, we will be talking about ways to transcend the ego. And I will give you another example from Swami's book, A Renunciate Order for the New Age, in the chapter Transcending the Ego. In conversation, don't wait impatiently for your chance to speak your piece. Listen respectfully, and if possible, listen with interest. Try to make it a conversation, not a competition of monologues. And we've talked a little bit about this in previous episodes on this topic. But it's very important to learn to restrain oneself to control one's baser emotions and tendencies. It's important to actually listen to people and not just wait for our chance to jump in. So often we interrupt continually. A conversation amongst a group of people is so often just a continual interruption of one person into another into another person's speech so let's try to be more respectful and not just batter down other people's energy to assert our own but instead to listen sensitively and try to feel what Swami calls the idea of finding out what is trying to happen. This is very important when you have groups of people working together, trying to figure out how to go forward with their business or with their work. And it's important to hear what God is trying to express through your work which is one of the reasons why it's very important to meditate together before you launch into meetings, if you possibly can. It's not always possible in a worldly situation. But if you can just take even a minute to close your eyes and center before going into a meeting and really ask God to speak through you and to help you to hear what he's trying to say through other people, it will be a tremendous change for the better. And so let us remember these things in the heat of the moment and really try to tune in to what is trying to happen.